Hello, hi, I'm Tim Richardson and uh, I'll be your bait expert for today. Okay, I'm going to introduce you to my new series on catfish and carp baits, most specifically big carp and big catfish baits, and show you how you can defeat ready-made baits in your own unique ways. Being different is the biggest advantage you have in fishing. Ironically enough, if you have a group mindset which is a bit kind of conditioned by um, kind of iconic figures who tell you to use this bait with this rig and you're in a scenario where everyone else on the lake is using the same tactics then obviously you have lost that advantage to a great degree so being able to think for yourself and doing things differently uniquely really really does pay off as I've found over the last seven years of researching and testing homemade baits and ready-made baits and working on things using comparative analysis methods um, to find out using fish feedback what works best. Um, so if you're into making your own very very potent homemade baits um, using new and unique uh, substances or into uh, optimizing ready-made baits in new and unique ways uh, and uh, developing ways of thinking, new approaches, thinking out of the box and developing baits ahead of their time then uh, this is the place to be. So without further ado what I'm going to do is um, take you through just a few tips um, showing you some advantages of um, adapting ready-made baits and homemade baits to get around um, bait condition uh, caution um, which literally means if you're using a bait which has been established for any period of time um, there'll be a percentage of, of fish or target fish which will be resistant uh, they'll be feeding more coarsely on a bait um, and uh, obviously sometimes you don't know if other anglers have already hooked that fish and lost it and so on um, so anyway even if you're a beginner or a very experienced angler these tips uh, will definitely make you think um, so I aim to, to think out of the box and um, yeah, use fish as the, the reference point um, to improve your angling and your success with big fish. So let's go for it. I'll show you a couple of tips. This is um, some of the things that I do. Okay, standard ready-made bait um, such as these. Uh, they're, they're round, um, smooth surfaced and um, rolled and extruded uh, machine roll baits generally have these kind of characteristics and features um, however in this case if you're making homemade baits <coughs> uh, this is one edge I've made these baits so that the surface breaks down immediately leaving a knobbly surface so they're completely differentiated to machine rolled conventional boilies and additionally these baits are not boiled in fact they're not heated in any way um, these baits Again, these are homemade baits that have been made to um, bypass fish caution, uh, fish caution conditions by exposure to thousands and thousands of machine rolled, smooth surfaced, um, standard density texture um, ready made baits. These baits are very open, very, very coarse. There's no way you could roll these baits, I know because I've tried. Um, they're way too coarse. Um, however, the leakage on these is absolutely incredible, the throughput of bait through the fish is incredible, highly digestible and in this mixture um, there are three different recipe formats um, which is deliberate um, so it confuses reference points of fish so instead of having one um, nutrition profile or a set of feeding triggers and attractors in one bait which can be used as a reference point um, in order to detect hook baits there are three different versions different densities different weights um, yeah different densities of bait so the baits will all act differently in the water break down at different rates and offer different profiles of tastes um, and to palatability palatability is is one of the most important factors in bait because um, the more you can get a bait a fish to feed um, obviously the more chances you have of getting a pick up and the more competitive a situation you can um, develop um, by exploiting bait in various ways and uh, here's another example um, this is a mixture of three different baits 
and uh, they've been made so that they have different um, feed and trigger um, capabilities um, and different uh, nutritional profiles and they actually break down at different rates and move totally differently in different ways in the water when picked up so really all these are making um, making it far more difficult for the fish to ultimately um, discern which bait is attached to a hook um, and uh, also the the big point about free baits in my opinion really is this is that if you can um, create baits which pre-program uh, fish sensitivities in other words they um, highly acutely um, actively change the sensitivity of fish receptors once in contact with bait in dis as dissolved substances uh, and as substances going through the gut then actually what happens is then the fish become far more sensitive uh, to your, your hook bait substances so they actually um, are able to detect your hook baits far more effectively um, as a result and that can be pretty instant uh, instantly achieved or over uh, cumulatively over a period of time um, I prefer it to be more instant um, because why not I'm after catching fish faster rather than um, wasting time on a bank um, another uh, approach I use is this where I uh, I mix up a variety of um, of different different recipes, various kinds, um, all homemade baits here. Um, they have all kinds of different angles, text surface textures, breakdown um, characteristics, as opposed to you know, not just surface characteristics. Different um, uh, profiles of feeding triggers and attractants, um, different enhancers, um, different active um, components so that the overall there isn't any one set of reference points um, and a very big point I might, might add is that none of these baits contain egg um, liquid egg is the number one reference point among ready made baits worldwide and that's the reason why I avoid liquid egg plus the other factor is that liquid egg once heated is insoluble and actually the primary reason at the core of why baits work is because they, they alter the atmosphere as it were around the fish in terms of dissolved substances because they live in um, a, an electro, electronically uh, reactive kind of uh, medium, uh, an electrolyte. So what we're doing is um, we're altering the, rate, the, uh, the kind of levels of substances, dissolved substances within uh, the water surrounding the fish in touch with their receptors. So we're actually fully controlling the environment of the fish by exploiting bait and for me that's the whole point of bait you can pre-program fish to become very sensitive to your hook baits and ultimately you get more more bites by doing that um, especially by making your baits exceptionally potent in various ways so I will be taking you through all kinds of different bait formats um, all kinds of uh, approaches so whether you're a very experienced carp angler um, or not, or a total beginner, it doesn't make any difference. Um, I'll be taking you through um, all kinds of different bait formats, from base mixes, PVA bag mixes, slot mixes, the whole the whole works, um, but in a very very short, concise way. Basically, looking at how my things work, and um, and how to optimise different approaches.